Hi everyone, this is Harry. It's March 1st in New York City. It's 51 degrees today. I'm doing my second Green Dragon Aircrete test. Today I'm testing out foam and how I create the foam. So the way they have it on the website is uh, they're using different solutions. So here I have a 32 gallon uh, garbage pail filled with water to the top. And what I did was I put a bottle of Joy uh, dishwashing detergent into this container. But when I checked the website again, the information said it's a 35 to 1 ratio. So one bottle of dishwashing liquid would require 35 bottles of water to have the correct ratio. Well, uh, sounds like a lot of bottles. So I looked online for different detergents that made uh, a lot of bubbles. And one of the contenders was the Tide. So what I'm going to do is pour this entire bottle into this container here. And this is going to be for my bubbles, my foam. So it's, um, I didn't actually do the math to figure out exactly what the ratio is, but I know it's a lot closer than one bottle of joy. And so um, I'm just going to fill this up so I can get all the soap out of here. And I'll give it a little stir. Alrighty. And um, this is my temporary setup here my green dragon I just set it up temporary I didn't make the wood legs yet for the green dragon so this will work for now uh, before I start this test let me show you the first pour I did two days ago so I made some air crete and I poured it into this mold here and I made these uh, stones and uh, it's so funny because they're so light. You're expecting them to be heavy, but they're really light. Anyway, these are still curing. It hasn't been but 30 hours, I think, since I poured it. And uh, so that's curing. This is what I'm going to be uh, making a dome mold from just to um, experiment here. I'll be filling this bowl up with aircrete. And then I'll put this second bowl on top and uh, put a weight on it to hold it down while that cures. That's one of the tests. This is another test I was doing. This is regular aircrete. It's just Portland cement and foam. And here I did a Portland cement and basalt fiber uh, test. So once that cures, I'll take it out. And I can compare the two. But that was my first um, test. And so here, I'm gonna do the second test now using a different detergent. And we'll see how this works out here. Actually, let's just look at the foam I'm gonna be making. So we'll see how the foam solution comes out with the new Tide and Joy mix. I'm adjusting the, uh, the air mixture 
and the amount of foam solution that comes out. And I'm trying to make... This is looking much better already than my first one. It's a much thicker foam. So um, I'm going to be trying that mix and I'll see how the air creek comes out.